My name's Straker. I'm a graffiti artist from Perth, Australia. I best known for my neon style that replicates the look of neon signs using spray paint. I started painting back in late 95 as a graffiti artist working mainly with lettering. I was painting a sports bar. I figured neon would be a fitting style. That kind of led to doing one kind of cheerleader piece. I liked the look of it and then kind of kept going with it. It always for me starts with like a black background. The best kind of surface for the neon style would be one that's flat. No brick, mortar joins interrupting the flow. I start by painting what becomes the reflection of the neon. Then layer that with the colour, creating the glow. Then come back and do an offset outline which becomes the kind of neon tube, so to speak. and then mist colour back over the top to kind of finish it off. Whenever I'm creating a neon piece, I'm doing it true to how a neon sign maker would create it. You don't have an infinite length of line. You, you kind of have to think about, if I were bending this, how would it work? So I like to yeah, really kind of put myself in their shoe. As far as planning a wall goes, I generally take a photo of the site that it's going to go and more recently been using the iPad where I then essentially do the same process but just kind of like finger painting on the tablet. It's almost like I'm spray painting but just digitally. This style is fast. I spend more time getting the design right than painting itself. I'm a fast painter though, you know, I, I grew up painting at night time under, you know, pressure. It takes about 5 to 50 minutes I'd say, depending on colours and size. I use a variety of materials when I'm painting. Uh, it all depends on the size of the, the wall. The bigger the wall, the more I'm going to use bucket paint, rollers, anything to apply paint, you know. <laughs> Getting clean lines with a spray can is a lot easier than it ever has been due to the brands of paint made specifically for kind of art. It really comes down to can control, how much you press that nozzle down. I use as, as many fluorescent spray cans as possible to create my work. The downside to fluorescent colours is they fade really quickly, so the work has a pretty short lifespan when it's outdoors. A lot of people always ask, like, does it glow? Does it glow? You know, and I'm like, well, no, it doesn't, but I guess that's kind of almost thinking it's real. And if you put a black light on these, they fully pop, hey, it looks like they're glowing. I think people are attracted to it, you know, it's designed to catch your eyes. 